Track surface continues to cause problems. A notoriously bumpy surface has undergone numerous party surfacing jobs over the past few years, following complaints not just from MotoGP riders, but also Formula One and the World Endurance Championship. While the track received mostly positive reviews in 2022, once again the word disaster was bandied around last weekend. World champion Bogna took aim at the fact there are four different types of asphalt on the circuit, while a number of riders noted the surface appeared to be cracked in some places. In the Grand Prix, eight riders crashed out, with a number blaming the slippery nature of the track. DR46 Ducati rider Luca Marini called the surface a disaster, while Fabio Quartararo also used that term to describe the grip and bumps at turn 12. Some did feel the track was no worse than it was in 2022, and while there will always have to be an element of just accepting some bumps, its clear coat still has a lot of work to do to make its track much more suitable for MotoGP's needs. MotoGP's dreams of making it in the US depends on it having a race in the States, but the only track is incapable, it's basically not suitable. Coda is built on basically a bog, created by a relatively dormant fault line, that means the track sinks in places, and creates holes and bumps in the surface. 2023 is in now way the first time MotoGP has been made aware of this reality. Since 2015, the track surface was deteriorating. It was not until last year that a new lap record was set, by Jorge Martin, since Marc Marquez set the previous record seven years earlier. In Moto3, the lap record still stands for Marlon Kane in 2016. By 2019, the track was in a terrible condition, and verged on dangerous. There were huge bumps and holes in most corners, including fast ones like turns 2, 3, 10, and 18. The track had not been able to afford to resurface the track, so they had ground down the bumpy areas instead. This helped, but it was not a long-term solution. A resurface between turn 1 and turn 10 followed, and for 2022 the condition of the surface was better. However, for 2023, it has deteriorated again, because the ground on which the track sits cannot be overcome by track work, unless the surface is fixed every other year, which is not sustainable. MotoGP's commercial side needs to garner more attention in the US. If the track surface cannot maintain its safety over a long period of time, it is hard to see how MotoGP can continue to race there. The fundamental issue at the circuit of the Americas, that of the track surface, and it could legitimately threaten the success of MotoGP as a whole.